what is up everybody it is your girl me if you don't know me and welcome to another day another video welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you guys are new here in canada specifically in my area there's not a lot of cool vending machines as they have it in japan what's exciting at this time in mississauga is that they have a pizza vending machine there's one in toronto that i hadn't got a chance to try out yet so glad they opened another one it is gonna be my first i'm trying this pizza vending machine out and ordering it from a vending machine first of all i don't know how it works do people just come and put pre-made pizzas in the vending machine or does the vending machine make your pizza i guess we'll see that how many times did i say vending machine shit we made it here it looks like it's at a gas station and yeah it's at a gas station with a lot of truckers here and then the pizza vending machine there's my sister is right behind her and there's no one so thank god i was hoping it to be low key it is in a hidden spot i mean you can't see it off the road yeah i'm so happy Let's gear up just to get out of the car and walk a few meters. When you pull up, you'll see it right in front of Petro Canada gas station. It's as large as half of a parking spot. So I don't really know if there's people in there making the pizza. And when you step up, they even provide you some hand sanitizer, which is nice. You'll see that screen where you could place your order and right underneath it, there's a slot where your pizza comes out. And on to the left is a pay machine. You can only bring debit or credit. And above that, they even provide you some nice utensils, plastic knives, plastic forks, and some napkins. It's editing me just popping in just to apologize in advance because when I was filming this video outside, I was wearing a face mask. You could hardly hear my voice. And also you could hear some winds in the background because we were in an open parking lot area. You can hardly see the screen that I ordered from because of the glare. I just wanted to give you guys a heads up on how it's gonna sound and how it's gonna look. So I apologize in advance and I hope you guys are okay with it. So let's move on with the video. Ready in three minutes. Look at how much trucks there are here. There's a number of gas stations even across. So this is pretty much cater towards them just on the go don't know what to get because there's a few options barbecue chicken honey goat cheese four cheese blend pepperoni vegetarian hawaiian cheeseburger it's already pre-made like people come here to stock up i don't know if they're making it at the back or whatever should we get a regular one like a pepperoni pepperoni, Ooh. pepperoni? Oh, you could also get it cold or hot pizza. I guess you could get the cold one so you can heat it up at home. Yep, cook at home to relax. Oh, no, no, I didn't want that. I want it fresh. So now it's $12 Canadian. The mozzarella cheese, oregano, pepperoni. Oh, double pepperoni and tomatoes. And I don't know, between the barbecue chicken, cheeseburger, or Hawaiian. All right, I think I'm going to go with the Hawaiian tomato sauce, ham, caramelized onions, barbecue sauce, ham, mozzarella, pineapple. That pizza looks good there. I'm probably going to taste test this, so I'm having a bite of it. So I don't want to break my keto. Our order, pepperoni and Hawaiian, and I think we're ready to check out. 28 25 and then continue. Credit card over here should come out of here no you can't see the screen but well, it's just pretty much a commercial oh this is a machine inside so it's pretty much pre-made and they grab it grab your selected pizza like a robot oh i can't see it i can't hear it I heard something in there. Your pepperoni, it's on its way. It's loading, it's processing. When it hits there, it's finished. You can smell the pizza, right? Didn't even start a timer for this, but it's looking real quick. While we're here, might as well just... 
Almost there. Almost there. Wait, did I hear something? Oh, it's here. It's here. Look. It says a date on it. Oh, it's pushing out. Sweet. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Look at the pepperoni. It's hot. Now the Hawaiian pizza. Oh, this one looks good. I think it looks better than the pepperoni one. Yeah. And it gives you a receipt. First up is the pepperoni it's pretty thin crust doesn't come pre-cut for you there's no option for that i don't think it is no, it's pretty thin. so it's yeah it's thin. thin it's thin mm -hmm. see pull it up need to cut them into slices with this this plastic knife that's the downside to this it's not cut up for you Good. And it's not flimsy because some of them are pizza who, like that is thin, it's flimsy, but it's not. It's pretty crunchy still. I'm only gonna have a few bites, like I said. Look at all that crunchy cheese. It's burnt cheese on top of that. You know it's nice and crispy cheese. That pepperoni, and I see a little bit of sauce. It's not too saucy, a little dry for my liking, but it's coming out of a vending machine. I mean, I feel like some pizza stores make it like this. It's not bad. It's made at a pizza shop first and then they come here and stock up the machine and it stays pretty heated. It's warm, but it's not hot. The pizza is called Pizza Forno. I can't believe we just ordered this out of there. Wow, looks better than the pepperoni. I don't know, is that hot sauce? I forgot it's what I read. Hot sauce or maybe ketchup? There's the cheese. You see the layer of sauce under there. It's thin crust as well. See some bacon, ham, cheese, pineapple, ooh, yum. And a drizzle of the sauce. I don't know if it's hot sauce or not. All right, let's do this. There she is. This one's a little more floppy than the other one. Look at all the toppings. Oh, there's my sister. She's excited to eat this one. You can taste the pineapple. I do like the other crust better though. I thought maybe the other one would have been dry, but this one's a little bit too soft. Mm. This is not, this is not how I expected the wine to taste. Tastes different than the other Hawaiians I've tried with pizza with pineapple on it. Come a little dry, the pineapple pieces. They give you thick bacon pieces though, and the ham pieces are pretty big still haven't figured out what that sauce is i think it's just tomato sauce it's like a sweet tomato sauce i thought that i would love this one but i think i prefer the pepperoni one more so giving my overall rating for the pizza i would give the pepperoni one a 4.5 out of 10 and for the hawaiian one we're gonna give her a 4 out of 10 that is because it is 12 bucks each and the size of that pizza is equivalent to a small at another local pizza place. And that's pretty damn expensive. I usually pay six to 10 bucks for one. And I'd put in that extra time just to wait around for it. I mean, it's cool that it's from a vending machine in the first place and it only takes three minutes, but the taste of it is okay. It was exciting waiting for a pizza to come out, yeah. We don't live in this city. It's about an hour drive away from home. I don't think we would come back here. If we think about pizza places in Mississauga, we would not think about going here or make it our top. Basically a place where people could come pick it up, truckers. I mean, it's probably open 24-7. Yeah, yep. In conclusion, we go here just for the experience not generally for the pizza. Uh, uh, uh.
excuse me i hope you guys enjoyed our taste test on these pizzas and our experience ordering it out of that thing over there take care of yourself and take care of your loved ones we're gonna drive home now and yeah make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already turn on that notification bell and oh yeah give me a thumbs up on this if you love pizza all right you guys i'll see you in the next video bye